this is for black women. Okay, this, this is for black women. This is for black women. Det første jeg tenker her er, what the fuck? Her er det en dame som har laget smykke. I don't know what old girl was saying, but I heard what the fuck. And so I already feel like she got something negative to say. <laughs> I feel it in my bones, okay? Anywho. Hey y'all, my name is Chantal, owner of Chantal J, where I sell dope Afrocentric jewelry for black women. <laughs> I didn't stutter. I said black women. <sighs> Aren't you trying to make some money? Aren't you selling jewelry? What? You obviously don't want to make no money. Are you making some money? I could tell you that whole little, it's for black women, is really going to hurt your pockets. Not to mention, Africa is the fucking motherland. The black woman is the blueprint. We, my skin color, came from you. You know what, let me just say less, because once I go into educational mode, I'm going to hurt your ego. Rest in peace to your pockets, though. So now they came from Africa. Now they are willing to and ready to acknowledge the black woman as the mother of all mothers, the mother that mothers their mother. Now they agree the black woman is the blueprint. And what it had to take to get them to this point is for a black woman to start a jewelry brand, marketing her jewelries using the sound, this is for black women. And now from far and near, they are coming out of the woodworks with so much enlightenment talking about, oh, if I get into educational mode, I'm going to hurt your ego. <laughs> I can't say. <tell. laughs> and all of this happened because of a jury. <laughs> My stomach hurts. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to be taking this entire situation a lot more seriously than I am right now, but I cannot help it. I find it funny that this entire situation has been going on since last year. Since last year, this has been going on and it's still going on, by the way, with people daily getting pissed at the fact that she's marketing. Sis is marketing her video using this is for black women sound, right? And not only have this entire situation make them folks want to reach deep down and go and hold on to the the slither of blackness that they have somewhere from their great 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 <laughs> grandparents somewhere because you know we all came from Africa. Now you know they are ready to acknowledge that and they want to look for the blackness somewhere, hold on to it, and say yes because of this. That is why I ha I should have the right to be able to purchase this jewelry because you know I I'm from Africa too. <laughs> I'm from a black woman. <laughs> it's funny to me. So not only has that scenario be, be you know been taking place, there's also the fact that now all of a sudden them folks understand what it means like for you know to be told that you cannot access something because of the color of their skin. You know when you flip the table around. Even though, by the way, I want to put it out here now. Um, before I go deep into the video, that it's 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 all not that deep, because quite literally. Anybody, regardless of their ethnicity, regardless of their race, regardless of what they look like, can get these juries. Because this is not restricting anybody from buying them. Hey, what y'all doing? Can I show you something? Do you mind? I just want to show you something of my girlfriend's and what she does. All right, Miss Chantel. All right, I just want to show you. You know, there's a lot of stuff getting sold in the TikTok shop. And y'all know I'm a huge, huge SB supporter, all right? Um, but I want to show you what she has, and I'm going to tag her, and then you can go, you know, do your thing over there. Okay, so she sent me two pairs. She sent me four pairs of earrings, two for me and two for my girlfriend, Kelly, uh, in Nashville. I'll tag her. Um, okay, so this is the first pair. Look at that. And when I tell you this ain't cheap quality, it's not cheap ever. It's not cheap quality at all. Um, I, that's, I got an issue with that. I don't, I don't like... 
I don't like cheap quality at high price. No, um, this is not cheap quality. This is good quality earrings. And I'm going to tell you that they're not heavy. I can't wear heavy earrings. I've been like that since my ear go, ears got pierced when I was little. These are excellent. If I can wear them and you have sensitive ears like that, you can wear these too. Okay, so that's my pair. This pair is Kelly's. Look at that. Are y'all smart enough to know what that is? That is the shape of Africa. Beautiful. They're, I'm telling you, they're so light. Literally, they're so light. Gorgeous. Love them. Okay. And let me see which one this is. Oh, these are mine. Look at these. It's funny because I tried to find a pair of butterfly earrings that just go in the ear like that about four months ago, and I wasn't able to. This boutique said they had. No, they didn't have them. Anyway, um, look. Tell me those are not me. Those are definitely me. I love them. Love them. And then last pair, and uh, this is the pair uh, going up to Kelly in Nashville. Uh-huh. Yes! Um, and these, these actually just go in the ear. They don't loop in. They go in the ear like that. Um, again, lightweight. I'm so flipping proud of her and everything that she has done. And for you to, if you, are you listening to this, Chantel? For you to even think of me and Kelly like this, I love you and I appreciate you and I'm so I'm proud of you for everything that you're doing. And I hope that, I hope you sell out of all these, actually, uh, like every one of them. Because I love you, and I'm very proud of you. And I thank you for sending us these earrings. I'll get Kelly's in the mail uh, probably Wednesday when I check my P.O. box. But I'm so proud of you. And I'm so glad we are mutuals. And I'm so glad that we have each other. So, bye. I love you. See? Anybody can get these jewelries. Anybody can buy them. Anybody can wear them. There are no restrictions on, on who can and cannot buy and or wear her jewelries. Aside from the fact that I find this entire situation funny and crazy too, because them folks are in her comments in the hundreds, thousands, daily crying about how they feel like they are being segregated against and this is racially motivated when they can literally go to her website and order for these juries if they want them so badly and nobody's going to tell them that they can't. Nobody's going to, you know, she's not going to ask for a picture at checkout to see who is buying the product exactly what ethnicity are they from what is the color of their skin right nobody is going to do all of this because everybody can access this jury everybody is welcome to buy this jury hell she has even said on her page that anybody can but on a more serious note i feel like them folks who came by this situation and reacted the way they did i feel like and you let me know if you feel the same way too right i feel like these are folks who have at the back of their minds this fear of oh black people would eventually do to us what we did to them so when they saw this creator marketing her products using the this is for black women sound it immediately triggered something in them segregation as it happened in the us of a and apartheid south africa how they had water fountains that had indications saying this is for black people and this is for white people benches that had the same indications how black people and white people cannot enter the same buses or if black people were allowed to get on them buses they were relegated to the back and only white people were allowed to sit in the front you see all of these and more must have flashed through their minds when they came by her video because you see these people know and understand the kind of people that they were and still are so they low-key think other people can be like them other people have the capacity to be as brutal and as hateful as they have been and, and still are by the way so they are in that constant fear of the thoughts of what if these people do to us what we did to them so when they come by this situation on TikTok of this video sis made right marketing her products using this sound they cannot see it for the light-hearted nature of what it was right they cannot see that it's not that deep it's just the sound on tiktok immediately they are triggered their minds have traveled far to oh has it started is this how it began is this how the tables are going to turn for us and that is why them folks are presently daily getting pissed on tiktok in the hundreds feathers getting ruffled from far and near for no goddamn reason them folks are peace about not being able to access buy and wear jewelry that they can quite literally access buy and wear if they wanted to why 
because their mind is not clear as a collective. They know what they did and they live in the fear of it happening to them. And that is why you would not find any other group of women or people making videos or in cis comment sections complaining about, oh, this is rape to the cis. Oh, this is segregation. Oh, what if we do this too? Why? Because these women know that they can wear the jewelry if they want to. That has saying this is for black women doesn't automatically mean that they can't wear it they see the video for what it is they understood the sound for what it is and they know that what is understood doesn't need to be explained the only group of people who just don't get it for some reason is the mother folks one it's not my voice it's a sound that i used from another creator mm. two never said only in fact one thing i realized though is that the people that hear only are actually racist so that says more about you than me and not only are these folks being unnecessarily pissed since last year about this by the way they are also being raised to the cyst in her comments because of this oh no i don't have those but i do think i have a pair of earrings for you hold on So I don't know if you would want them in gold or silver, but these perfect for you. So what do you think? You want them in gold? Oh, 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 oh okay. Like the entire thing is just crazy. The entire thing is giving, you know, them folks was just looking for an opportunity. They've been waiting for an opportunity their entire lives to play victim. And now they just saw the situation and they lashed onto it and say, yes, we are being oppressed too. We experience rape to the system too. And also the fact that, of course, them folks who have been looking for, waiting for, finding, hunting for, questing for an opportunity to be rape to the system for no reason, saw this one and they took it and they ran with it, basically. It still boggles my mind how all of this is happening for no reason all the reasons that they are holding on to and saying is why they are acting this way basically don't even exist it's made up in their heads and the fact that this has been going on since last year since last year mm, well whew, this was a long video i want to you know bring you guys in on it and I also want to use this video to market sis products to you guys on here. So please do check her out and support her business. And one of the interesting parts for me is how their anger has been giving sis free marketing. And she has just been riding on that trail, I tell you. Being petty with it too. I mean, that's something I would do. <laughs> and I, I, I love how she's riding with it, just playing with it. And um, yeah, they, they're just giving her free marketing, resulting to even more people getting to know about her product, getting to know about her brand. Even all the way down here in Africa, it's gotten so crazy that we are even hearing about it. You see Ugandans, South Africans, um, Kenyans, Nigerians in our comments talking about this. Mm, now then I know we, we want to buy. I beg, you ship down here. <laughs> So I, I love this for sis. Go show sis her business, her brand, some love. Thank you very much for watching. Do let me know down below in the comment section what your thoughts are. And of course, as always, I would see you in the next one. Bye-bye. She, I can't tell. Y'all are in an uproar. I mean, the comments, the DMs, y'all seem real but hurt over my crap jewelry. You jealous, ain't you? That's what it is. It's okay, baby girl. It's okay. I'll be jealous too. <laughs> so welcome to Sean's Hall J, where I sell dope Afrocentric jewelry, ladies, for black women. <laughs> Nickel free. Mm-hmm. Tarnish resistant. Mm-hmm. Baby, you can get my jewelry wet. Mm-hmm. And the kicker, 
You gonna make the racist white folk mad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, also, the earrings, incredibly light. Okay, you ain't gotta worry about nothing. Y'all see that earlobe? It ain't hanging, baby. Okay, click the link in my bio. Love y'all. I will be posting several more videos throughout the week, but if you're not already following me on my Instagram page right here, make sure you do that because that is where you will definitely see a lot of my products. Watch my stories every day because I will be posting new arrivals. Sometimes I have flash. This is the place you want to be, okay? So make sure you're following me on my Instagram as well, okay? Bye, guys.